So there are lots of scholarships in the UK, but most people don't know about it because they don't know how to search or what to search. In this video, I'm going to share with you one of these scholarships in the UK, and this is for people who have a background in health sciences and life sciences. So before you decide whether this video is for you or not, let me show you some of the programs that these scholarships have. And this scholarship is actually fully funded. And the good thing about this scholarship is with your bachelor's degree, you could also directly apply for a PhD. Most of the funding opportunities are in PhDs. So it's always good to take these advantages, especially for programs that allow you to apply directly with your bachelor's. So this is the Midlands Integrated Biosciences Training Partnership. So when you see biosciences, not, this is not just for people who did biological sciences. As you can see, for the opportunities are the research themes. So people who want to research in agriculture and food, renewable resources and clean growth, integrated understanding of health. So the people who are in the health field, this is also a good opportunity for you because usually we don't see a lot of scholarships in these fields for you. So you should take advantage. Understanding the rules of life, so immunology, microbiology, plant sciences, soil sciences, biology, and these are industrial collaboration projects. What this means is you collaborate with an industrial partner. For this scholarship is open and the deadline is for January 2024. The good thing is that all your um, all students include hands-on training. So without wasting much time. What do you do? Before I talk about the scholarship, I want you to see the profile of some of the students who have won this scholarship. And as you can see, the studentship include full tuition fees at UK rate, a tax-free annual stipend. So in 2020-2024, this was 18, about, let's say about 18,000 pounds or 18,000 pounds. A travel allowance in year one, a travel or conference budget, a generous consumable budget, use of a macbook pro for the duration of the program so this is really good so you even get a laptop during the program international scholarships are offered by some institutions so what this means is with the full tuition fees it means that this scholarship will just cover it assuming that you are from the uk so you have to cover the differences if you're an international student but this is where it gets interesting so that International scholarships are offered by some institutions. So some institutions will actually cover the difference. So when you're applying, whichever one you're applying to, it's in partnership with various universities. So it's important that you check whether the one, the university you're applying to or the program you're applying to covers this difference. Because if it doesn't cover this difference, you will have to pay for that. And here, an enhanced stipend is available for students with a recognized veterinary degree. Okay, so the veterinarians, if you have friends who studied veterinary medicine, please send them this video because a lot of scholarships are not really... Okay, I don't know a lot of scholarships in this field for these people, so this is good for them. So this is the student's profile. You can see this person has a bachelor's in agriculture. He doesn't have a master's, so directly from his bachelor's, he applied and he got into it. This person, biomedical sciences, also just the... Uh, okay, I think MB... I think this is a... I don't know what this MBI always is. It's a master's, but I think it's a bachelor's. Because I think it's a bachelor's. Um, this is MSc, regenerative medicine. Some have both. So I think I saw one girl from Nigeria who was in this profile. So a BSc in Agriculture, a Biomedical Sciences, Masters of Research, BSc Biotechnologies, BSc Veterinary Medicine and Masters. So as you can see, the profiles of these students are very diverse. So this, this is her Oluwato Sinora Baba. She has a BSc in Microbiology and also an MSc in Microbiology from Nigeria. Um, this is a BSc Psychology and an MSc in Clinical. So you can see that the profiles of these students are, are very diverse of the people they do accept. So without wasting much time, let's talk about what is scholarship or what you need to do to apply. So you check your eligibility and apply here. I'm going to open this link. But whichever one is of interest to you, you can decide to click on that research theme and start. So let's say sustainable agriculture and food is of interest to me. 
So this is the application, this is the process. You first have to check your eligibility. And this is the eligibility of what you need to, to for Homo Yuki, for international students. Awards, international will require student versa. They are called the diverse application process, which might be met by the students. Okay, we already know this. So this is the academic requirement. A first or a 2.1 that graduate degree in a relevant field are eligible. Evidence of quantitative training is required. For example, AS or A-level math, higher math, or university-level math or statistics courses. So if you took math, so it means that you need to have like mathematics. You should have studied mathematics in the courses you took. And if you have a 2.2, so this is good for people who have a lower. So if you have a 2.2 and an additional master's degree, so you could apply for this. And if you have a 2.2, and at least three years postgraduate experience in a relevant field, you may be eligible. So those who have 2.2, this is a good advantage of what you need to do to be able to help you apply for these scholarships. Get a master's in your home country or try and get the work experience. In, so, so for, as I said, as I initially said, there are different universities. So if you want to... The program you want to apply for is an Aston University. This is what you need to do for University of Birmingham. So like when I, I mentioned that some universities will actually take care of the international fees. So international students are welcome to apply. Studentship will be jointly funded covering international tuition fees in full. So when you apply to Birmingham, University of Birmingham, you will not have to worry about the international fees. And there's the Harper Adams Universities. So every university is different. So you need to take time and look at um, what you need to do. So let's take maybe you want to apply to all of them. You have to fill the form. So let's look at how the form looks like. So your name, your surname, your email address, you decide on the university you want to apply to. What, how, where did you hear about it? Or there, so you can, put my, you can put my YouTube name here. Equality and diversity data, you just answer these questions. And that is it, then you send the form. As you can see, it's very easy to, to answer them. And if you don't want to disclose anything, you can decide, prefer not to disclose. So. This is very easy to do. So you fill the forms. Then you check the English requirements for each university will differ. So let's look at it for Birmingham. So what you have to actually apply to, you have to apply for it at the university website. So if you're interested in a PhD project at the University of Birmingham, please take a look at this website and apply to the department, school relevant, please be sure to apply to MIBTP specific programs. So when you are choosing and applying the university, you have to choose PhD Bioscience, not to a general PhD program. I'll open the site. If you have any questions, this is what you want to do. So this is it. I've already opened it, but I'll open it again. So this is the English language requirement. In order to take a program, you need to demonstrate that you have a good level of written and spoken English. You can demonstrate um, with this or alternative qualifications. English may not be two years or older. The section below will tell you what grades need. Okay. So if you have been instructed and assessed in English language as a record that you may be exempt. So for Ghanaians, you could be exempted or if you are from an English speaking country. So that is it for those requirements. And this is a program at Birmingham. This will be the same that we saw and there's gonna be 60, which is good. And a laptop, so this is really good. So these are the projects that you have to choose to apply, choose a project from the list below. This list um, contains uh, the list content pages are available, they're supervisors, they are attached to the direct link admission portal. When case students should become available, they will be advertised at the end of the list. So when applying, include your chosen supervisor's name in the research details. On the funding information tab, choose this. 
you may apply up to five programs if you are interested in projects in different field for example you may apply to both the phd bioscience ft and phd psychology you may only apply to each program once after applying please complete the application description performer so mibtp has a complete record of those applying failure to do so may result in your application not being considered that's why it's very important that for every scholarship you apply you read the program website so so this is the project so um and the professors attached to it let me look at chemistry i'm just gonna choose one of them so this is for chemistry if you choose apply now so this is the project outline this is the background this is the method this is the references so it will be the same thing when you click apply now it will take you to the same okay so we have to I've, it was in Birmingham so I'll go back to now I can't find it. This is what happens when you have so many tabs opened. I'm just, this is Birmingham. I'm going to open this. I'm going back to the Birmingham. And I'm going to these other projects. So chemistry. Uh, I'm going to go back. I'll go to chemistry and I'm going to choose apply now. Okay, so now this is the portal. You just have to create a new user and just follow the process. So whichever one you are interested in, the process is usually the same. You just have to read what it is you visit the university's website each university has their websites then you choose the project you want to do then you apply to those portals please take your time and read and is there an application fee let me check i'm not too sure but let's check university of birmingham application fee So for some of our, pro, uh, so it depends on which one you're applying to. Some of them, for some of our, pro, there's an application fee. Please see the guidance for programs. So some do have application fee, others um, don't. So let me see this particular one, MIBTP, Birmingham application fee. I'm showing you this so that you know how to search for these things when you are looking for them. I don't think there are, there's an application fee for it because if if there is, it would have popped up. But I'm going to check. These ones don't have application fee. No, there's no application fee. There's no application fee. There's no application fee. So that is it. So it's really good to know that. So, okay, I didn't show you how to find this website. I will leave it in the description box. But just in case I forget, this is how you find it. You just put paste. It's M-I-B-T-P. Just put M-I-B-T-P. And it will be the very first one you see. And I need the Warwick if you want. So I'm waiting for you and I'm wishing you all the best. Take advantage of all these opportunities I'm sharing with you. So to hear from me again.